Welcome to the first series on Adobe Express and this one is on quick actions for images. I'm going to take you through six quick actions that are all powered by Adobe Photoshop utilizing Adobe Express. Let's jump in and have a look. So here are all the quick actions as you can see here. I'm under image, resize image, remove background, convert to JPEG, convert to PNG, crop image and convert to SVG. We're going to go through every single one of these and I'll have timestamps for you to quickly jump around. The first one is resize image. If we click on that, it's as simple as browse on your device, choose an image, upload it. Here's this cracking shot of me on New Year's Eve. And look at this, I can resize anything to any social, such as a square, and I can drag this image to pan it around if I need to, or perhaps even landscape. And as you can see here, I'm just dragging. I can even scale the image if I wanted to, just drag and drop it into place. It's also for the other social platforms. So if I click on these, I can come in here and add that scaling technique. If I hit download, it's just simply gonna take me through the download process. And not only will it add it to my downloads folder, but now I can do a number of things here, such as replace, delete it, choose a solid color, or add it to a background. You can see how Adobe Express opens this up for us. Now, the second one I'm gonna take you through is remove background. We've all been in those scenarios where we've had to do this manually and utilizing Adobe Photoshop. But very quickly and easily, we can do this inside of Adobe Express. If I click on remove background, again, I can browse for that image. Let's go the same one. We'll upload it and it immediately removes the background. And you can see what a great job it's done. If I wanted to customize it, it opens up Express for me right here and loads that straight in. Now, if I wanted to edit that cutout, I can actually erase elements from this. I've edited that background out and I can use this shot now anywhere I wanted to. Moving over to the third one, we're gonna look at convert to JPEG. So if I had a file here that wasn't in JPEG format, it's as simple as doing something like this. Here's a shot here of me at the beach on holiday. Now, this is a HEIC file, which is a typical file format these days on mobile devices. So I'm gonna hit upload, and again, it's gonna do the process. It's already ready to download, my JPEG is ready. So if I hit download, again, it adds it to my downloads folder. If we go to that downloads folder, there is the JPEG itself and I can go ahead and rename that where I need to. Moving on to convert to PNG, the process is the same. I'll just click on browse on your device. Let's go ahead and grab that JPEG from here and hit upload and then go download. And again, it does the same process. It, it completely converts it very fast and there's the PNG version of that shot. So I've already shown you four things that you would either usually give to a creative pro to do or you would spend hours trying to figure out how to do it yourself using an application that you may not be familiar with. Adobe Express is your friend because it can help you do these very quickly. As you can see, let's have a look at the next two. Number five is crop that image. Let's find an image. We'll grab this one here of my colleague and I. Now, perhaps I don't want my colleague in this shot, but what I can do is I can grab the edges of this and just crop it really nicely, right? Again, I don't need to do this in any other application. I'm doing this in Express. I hit download, again, it's gonna download it. Let's go back to my downloads folder and there it is, nice and easily downloaded straight onto my downloads folder. The final one I'm gonna take you through is convert to SVG. Similar process, browse on your device, grab a JPEG format, let's grab this one again, hit upload, and again, it's gonna vectorize this image. We're gonna turn it into a vector-based image and enables us to do this very quickly again. And when that's finished, again, we can go ahead and hit download pop back into my downloads folder and there's the vectorized image as you can see. There you have it, six quick actions for image manipulation inside of Adobe Express. I'd love to hear in the comments how this is gonna save you time, even if you are a Creative Pro or perhaps not a Creative Pro. But as always, if you like what you see here, please hit that like button. And if you wanna see more, hit that subscribe button. And remember, never stop creating.